Hi there, Alfredo here. In this video, I want to talk about the bin types and how you can set up your bins so that only certain movements are allowed. So let's start from our location list and let's find our location Manchester that we have set up with directed put away impacts. And we also have the zones and the bins enabled. So from my bins list page, you can see that I have a few bin codes and I also have the second column that says bin type code. Now, if I drill down into this field and I open the list, I have the list of bin types. These codes are associated with certain kind of movements. And in Business Central, there are four type of warehouse activities we can register. We can re receive items, we can ship items, we can put away items, and we can pick items. Of course, manual uh, movements of items from and to these two types of bins are always enabled, always allowed. But manually mm, moving items from uh, the receipt and the ship bin is not always allowed. I will talk about that in another video. So let's go through the list of these bin types and see what these means. First, I have a mixed use bin type where I can both receive and put, sorry, put away and pick items. I cannot receive and ship because these are dedicated to my, let's say, loading bay. Second, I have a pick face bin. And in this pick face bin, I can only pick item. I cannot receive or put away items directly into it. Uh, this is a typical bin where you have loose items, small boxes or single items that you pick. And this kind of bins cannot, um, again, receive directly stock, but it can, you can only replenish them through, um, through um, the warehouse movement. Then I have my receive and my shipment bin type, uh, where only receive movements and shipment movements are enabled. These are my loading bay. Uh, my stock will get into the receive bin when I receive goods through a warehouse receipt, and they will they will go. My items will go to the shipment bin after a pick has been registered. More in another video. Finally, I have a storage bin. The storage bin is where you store your goods in larger unit of measure, for example, in pallets. And I cannot pick directly from a storage bin. I can only put away uh, items here. Again, how do we take stock out of a storage bin if pick is not allowed through um, a warehouse movement that, will, that I will cover in another video. So therefore, what I can do now, I can just decide to, um, to use um, the, the design of my warehouse and to give my bins a certain bin type. Uh, so a bin 04D is a storage bin, but then I can choose to create, uh, for example, a B05A, which is a ground level, and that can be a ground level, can be a pick face. Uh, I can give this one a zone, and then I can choose to, for example, to have this, this 05B and C, which is a mixed use. And again, this can belong to zone A and so on. Lastly, what I want to do, I want to have, for example, loading bay 01. And my loading bay 01, it's now only the receive bin. And this is also in my loading bay zone that I created before. Likewise, I can have a shipment bay. This thing we're going to call it S, SB, a shipment bay 01. And this is uh, a shipment bin, which is also in my loading bay area. And this is how I can um, use bin type codes and, uh, and assign bin, bin type codes to certain bins. And now Business Central is set up so that this bin is a pick face, therefore I can only pick from here. Uh, this is a storage bin, I can only put away items into this one. This is mixed use. I can either receive, I can really put away or pick. This is my loading bay where I can receive items into, and this is my shipment bin that I can use when a pick is registered and goods are uh, waiting into this shipment bay, uh, waiting to be loaded into a vehicle or to a courier. And this is it for bin type codes and warehouse movements. Thanks for watching.